Hey y'all, I've been meaning to make this video for a while um, and I just keep forgetting to do it. But this is my cauliflower waffles and I've had a couple of people ask me how I made these before. I actually served these at a party one time and people ate them who weren't even like on low carb or any kind of diets and they loved them. Um, they really are good. Um, and they're much healthier for a lot of diets than um, regular waffles, obviously which are not the healthiest thing. Um, so what this is, this is one head of cauliflower that I chopped up in the food processor and riced it. And then I microwaved it for, I think it was about five, five or six minutes. And now I'm gonna turn it out onto this paper towel, which I also have on top of a kitchen towel, a clean kitchen towel, but the food is not touching the kitchen towel. It's just touching the paper towel. And then, so I'm smearing this out. It's really hot because it just came out of the microwave. It's kind of steaming hot, but I want to try to get as much moisture out of it as I can. So I'm just going to kind of spread it out. I don't know if y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm going to spread it out. And then um, I'm going to put the paper towel back over it like that. And then I'm gonna put another towel on top of it. And then I'm just gonna roll it up. And I'm literally wringing out this cauliflower. Ow, that's hot. Yeah. I'm just wringing it out to get as much moisture out of it as I can. And you can see it's coming through the towel a little bit. This is one of those, these are those microfiber towels, so they'll suck up a lot of moisture out of there. All right, and then when you undo it, that's another guy on my kitchen towel, but that's okay, it was clean. It just come out of the laundry. Then you've got your cauliflower, it's a little bit drier now, and because it's so hot, it's still steaming and more heat is coming out of it. Um, and then I'll put that back in my bowl. Get every bit of it off that towel. This was a relatively small head of cauliflower too. Um, but you're gonna see that my mother taught me how to cook and she never measured anything. So, Latarsha Mallard just cringed when I said I never measure anything. That's how I was taught to cook, so. Deal with that later. The rest of this in here. So, I made a little bit of a mess. So there's my cauliflower, right step in there. And now, normally I would use, uh, mozzarella cheese, shredded mozzarella. But my mozzarella was moldy, because it's old. So I had to throw it away, and I'm not going to the grocery store. So I'm gonna use some 2% milk shredded cheddar. I don't know how this is gonna work, really. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of Parmesan. So that's, I don't know about half as much cheese as there was cauliflower. That's the best way I know to measure it. And then about a quarter as much, maybe Parmesan. There's that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the waffle iron on. And I'm gonna turn it to about halfway because my experience last time was that it, um, they tended to burn. And now I have liquid egg whites. Um, you could use whole eggs, but I use the liquid egg whites. And I'm just gonna make, put enough of that in there. You wanna make sure your cauliflower is cool enough too before you put that in there or it's gonna cook. So you don't want the eggs to start cooking when you dump them in there. Let me put a little too much egg white, but I don't think it's gonna really matter. And then just stir that up real good. It's pretty wet. I hope I didn't have got enough water out of it. It's just gonna make it take longer to cook is all it is. And really, it's already cooked because you already cooked the cauliflower. So 
Now, when you when you put it in the waffle iron, really, you're just drying it out. That's all you're doing. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add a little more Parmesan to dry this up. I have no idea what the nutritional value of all of this is because I didn't add it up. But I just kind of eat it as like a, a bottom of something to put something saucy or juicy on. The last time I did it, I served it with meatballs and some barbecue sauce and gravy and something else. I don't remember what all I had on it. It was good though. Everybody liked it. So we're gonna have to wait for a minute for that to finish cooking. And finish heating, I'll come back. Okay, so my waffle iron just beeped to let me know it's ready. So I'm gonna open it up here and I'm gonna spray it real good with nonstick spray. Otherwise you'll have a real mess on your hands. And then I'm gonna take my mix. This is one of those waffle makers that makes a great big waffle that has deep pockets. So this will actually end up getting divided up. And I'm just gonna cover it, not quite to the edge, because it's gonna expand. Because the eggs are gonna make it grow. So then, close it and flip it over. And then just wait. And while it cooks, it's gonna steam. And when it finishes steaming, then it's probably done. You can see it's coming out the side. That's why I don't fill it up all the way. It makes funny noises. That's the eggs expanding in the waffle iron. <laughs> so the more water you get out of them, when you squeeze them out, the less time it takes for this part. Here's the jicama. Maybe next time I'll make jicama fries. Maybe that'll be my next video. I made them once, they were pretty good, but I don't think I did them right. And so they were kind of tough. I think I needed to steam them before I air fried them. So we'll try that next time. Okay, so it's pretty much stopped steaming. It's still steaming a little bit, but not like it was. And I think they're done, because they've been steaming a long time. So there they are. And then I can just pick this out of here. And there it is, a cauliflower waffle.